Madonna 4.3 is the latest entry in Relic's iconic real-time strategy series. In addition to a massive single-player campaign, Madonna 4.3 introduces players to a new vision for multiplayer RTS. Players will be able to forge an army that caters to their own style of play in ways never before seen in the series. Whether you're bringing the battle online with a team of friends, or honing your skills in a skirmish against the AI, Dawn of War 3 ensures that no two battles ever play out the same. Before you hit the battlefield, you must first prepare your troops. Dawn of War 3 offers unprecedented army customization options, altering not just how your army looks, but catering to your unique playstyle. First, you must choose a faction and three elite units to guide your army to victory. Dawn of War 3 offers more than 25 elite units across the Space Marine, Eldar, and Orc factions. Players of past Dawn of War titles can reunite with returning characters, including Gabriel Angelos, Maka, and Gorgoth, or discover new playable favorites in Lady Solaria, Jane Zar, and Beauty de Morganon. Each player brings three elite units into their army, bringing with them a wide range of tactics. Whether you want to get the surprise attack with a sneaky approach, or strengthen your army with a range of support abilities, or even hold out for that late game strike, the massive Superwalker, Dawn of War 3 has you covered. Try out different combinations and play matches to level up your elite heroes to unlock new doctrines, cosmetic skins, and more. After you've assembled your army, Make it your own by heading into the Army Painter and customizing your units with a paint scheme from the Warhammer 40k lore, or create a new set of your own. There are thousands of different combinations, and we look forward to seeing what you create. Next, it's time to choose your doctrines. You can select your doctrines in the right-hand menu of the Elite screen, or in the multiplayer lobby. Equipping doctrines allows you to customize your army with special traits and effects that enhance your favorite playstyle in battle. Army Doctrines affect all of your troops, with buffs to various units or abilities, while Elite Doctrines work a little differently. Each Elite Unit has a Presence and a Command Doctrine. The Presence Doctrine only comes into play once your chosen Elite has been deployed onto the battlefield. To unlock the Command Doctrine, you must level up that Elite. Once unlocked, that Doctrine becomes an Army Doctrine, meaning you don't actually need to bring that specific Elite into the game to use it. Between Army Doctrines and Elite Doctrines, you have a lot to consider before locking in your loadout. So let's say you're a big fan of Whirlwind Tanks in your Space Marine Army. Who isn't? You may want to pick up the Thunderhawk Redeployment Doctrine, since you know that they're susceptible to getting caught by melee units. And of course, when you try to fall back, all vehicles take extra damage from behind, so you need to be careful. In situations like this, the Whirlwind wouldn't have survived without the Thunderhawk Rescue. Whirlwind if you fancy the stealthy approach, pick up the Orc's Hidden Doctrine. This allows Ludus to hide in piles of scrap so you can surprise unsuspecting enemies at just the right moment. Moving on to the next kill! Oh, that's a good stop. That's mine. If you're an Eldar player, try the Focus Shield's Doctrine. This creates a protective shield around your Falcon transport vehicle. In this clip, the shield gives the Dark Reapers inside enough time to safely set up their attacks and take the resource point. Once you've built your army, it's time to head out onto the battlefield. Dawn of War 3 offers a range of multiplayer maps across a variety of worlds. Players will be able to compete online in 1v1, 2v2, and 3v3 match types, or hone their skills against the AI in a skirmish. In Dawn of War 3, the objective is to storm the enemy's base and destroy their power core. However, there are two structures and massive armies standing in your way. Before accomplishing your objective, you must first destroy your enemy's shield generator and turret. Not so fast. Turrets deal massive damage, so come prepared. Once those defensive structures are down, the power core is vulnerable and victory is within reach. But before you fight, you must build. Base building returns and plays a critical role in advancing your army. Dozens of units and vehicles are at your disposal, and each can be upgraded mid-battle to strengthen and open up new abilities. Keep your army strong by making sure you have the required resources at hand. Resources are used to build your army and are accumulated over time. To speed your resource gain, you must capture and defend resource points placed throughout the map. 
Likewise, harassing enemy points can disrupt their army progression as you cut their production capabilities off at the knees. Maps in Dawn of War 3 are playgrounds of war, offering countless opportunities to get the upper hand on your opponent. Heavy cover, stealth, and choke points are all up for grabs, and strategic use of each will make the difference in victory and defeat. Dawn of War 3 offers the largest armies in franchise history, powerful elite heroes, and the largest playable units we've ever seen. Command massive squads, deploy devastating units, and unleash spectacular super abilities to come out on top. With eight multiplayer maps, dozens of doctrines, and more than 25 elite units, players are able to truly forge their own path to victory. No two battles are ever the same, and there's no guaranteed path to victory. In Dawn of War 3, death comes for all. Destiny chooses a few. There's something neat about escaping into that world, and that was part of the challenge. And part of it was creating like this, those color palettes that would invite you in. 